gotta tell you, I'm heading back for those leprechauns. I'm gonna look them up again, but I think they might be worth getting, even though they'd be 16 for the pair. But let me go see. Not sure if I showed these guys talking to Mark about them. They have their stickers, just as made in Japan. I don't know if they're left in. I'll try to do a Google, a Google search on them. I found one that was on Etsy. It sold for twenty-three, eight dollars. I think I'm gonna grab them. Let me look at them real quick. But St. Patrick's Day stuff is so hard to find. I got a few pieces. Oh, bad paint job. All right, I think I'm gonna put them in my cart. I can always put them back if I don't want them. I gotta show you these lance jars too. 200, 225. Gorgeous. Bunnies, how much are those? Okay, are they bunnies or mice? Get it together. 50 bucks for the mice. Says Joseph Original. Smell glitch for 20. A closer look because this one has, I think, a chip right there. Well, it has a chip, and then this one has a crack. Um, I think it's just cracked through. I don't think it actually broke off, but probably took a tumble at one point. So I'm probably gonna put that one back. This one looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep this one. But he has the bad hat, so maybe they'll both go back. She is fabulous, $45 spaghetti poodle with two of her pups. Oh my goodness. She is having a 10% off discount in this booth. I know everyone's not into the newer stuff, but when you see things like this, how can you not stop to look? Uh, $4.98 for the small buckets, $3.98 for the uh, dummy boards. Gosh, they're so adorable. Three different kinds, the bunny, the chick, and the lamb. You got some glitter boards um don't know how much they are is the tag attached there we go 398 for them well for that one there's some gnomes Ugh, i'm not in the gnomes i mean they're appropriate in some places but i just haven't been able to get into the whole decor thing i love that up there that lantern let me put my cart down see if i can reach it oh please don't let anything bad happen I'm gonna sell for $21.98. That is really cool. Now I saw this too. Is it Avon? That would be my guess. $350. Oh my goodness. Oh, she's got uh, spring jam packed in here. Little picks. Spring flowers. Oh, she's got a whole bunch of stuff. I bet her stuff is fun at Christmas and Halloween too. Love the glitter bunny. I'm gonna try to make my way around to price that. $8.98. Um, has a felt bottom. I don't know if it's vintage. I do have a couple of glitter pieces that are vintage. I'm so attracted to the glitter. He is adorable though. And I'm gonna think about getting him. So if you guess the bunny ended up in my basket, he did. So this is 1098, the lamp, the glitter lamp. It is a hobbyist piece. I did flip it over to look at it. It's hollowed out. And then I saw these chicks in the cart, the chick pull in the cart. Um the feather 698. The feather uh topping that's uh, adorable as well there's more there's stinking buckets i should just get one mold hanger 7.98 now i gotta try to get back up i just gotta show you these i went to a yard sale indoor yard sale about a month ago eight dollars these are the plastic ones i did not pick them up though because there's like so many like they're oversaturated almost. Then you got this Lusterware sleigh for seven. Um, not sure who makes it. And what else did I see? I saw some Easter stuff over here. Oh, what is this? Vintage pick. 
five dollars. Ooh, I love that. Tacky Easter for five dollars. Left and chick, three dollars. With the sticker, oh yeah, let me check for damage. Oh, lost your tag, I'll get that in a second. There's a planner for six. Please be a good deal. Five dollars, chick rattle. I don't know, I think I'm gonna get that. And then over here, I love the boxes. The old candy boxes is what had an egg in it, four dollars. I have a couple of them, but love that pink mid-century color in Ohio. All right, now let me gather up my goodies and I'll keep on moving. Wait, let's look at eggs. Easter eggs, $2. I have a bunch of these, a bunch. I'm still on the fence about that. Uh, anything under here real quick before I turn off the camera? What happens, I start walking and I turn off the camera and then when I find something, I gotta turn it back on. But hey, that's all part of the game. So, all part of the editing. What is that? A utensil holder for six with the red handle. Let me see if I can pull it out of here. That's different. All my goodies in my cart before someone asked, what was that? $5 for the owl macrame. The glass bird is three. And then this girl print tell you here in a second uh, if I can fling her around $12 so we'll slip her back here well, maybe we won't we'll just lay her down she moved when I was trying to get this little glass print this print is four I think yeah four dollars for the little girl glass print I don't know is that worth picking up is that a thing I'm not sure I think that's everything I wanted to show you there's a mushroom plaque down here on the slate. That is $8. Oh, Halloween glass jar. Fingers crossed, $9. Oh, Carlton glass. I might have to look that up because it is so hard to find glass Halloween jars. Now they're like plastic. I'm starting to wish I would have grabbed a push cart. Some deer. $20 as is. Some doilies. $3. Uh, three. Individually priced. The chalkware pup. Bank for $15. I think I'm close to the end. Uh, we're supposed to go get some lunch after this. I think I have one more row to go up. Oh, I hate when I get hair in my mouth. That's what I get for moving too quick. Bunch of balloons. We got these one time for Chloe. She loved them. All right, what's over here? I see a bunny and I'm like drawn to it. Oh, there's popcorn. For 18, 1990, 1985. Love this box. 42.95. My last booth right here. Melomints. Sack and finish. six dollars it's been fun coming i'm glad i came i don't live that far from hancock maryland so if you are in the area make sure you stop in it is one floor so grab a push cart i thought there was another floor okay all right okay i'd be lying if i said i was done after that i did find a indiana hen on the nest in amber and there's another place i did not go into um let me show you Totally missed this part. I wish my camera had to flip around, but iPhone does not do that. So anyways, I walked past the hen on the nest, Indiana glass, amber for $10 and grabbed it. So total spent $56 on to get some lunch Down to Hagerstown for lunch at Friday's because they're hard to find. And look, the tree is starting to bloom. Spring is coming. Nowhere yet in Bedford, but it's starting to happen here. I feel like you are so crooked. But I have my phone half in there. So that's probably what's the problem. But anyways, welcome back. Um, sucks about the leprechauns. You know, they're hard to find. 
and if they would have been five dollars a piece i would have definitely got them even with the brakes because i could have used them in crafting or something but anyways moving on this is all from one booth i got a knickerbocker plastic company glendale california patent pending it's stamped right here on the back of the chick's neck it rattles paid five dollars for it so that was a neat find um did i say this is all from one booth and then the left and chick i got him for three dollars and he has his sticker right there and then i did get these uh christmas um ornament picks they were five dollars and again there was four red uh four of the what would you call that like the seed bead glitter kind and then there's two three of the silver and they're individual she just taped them or he taped them together the booth taped them together and i'll take them apart and definitely use them for crafting uh i always pick these up if they're cheap yard sales or wherever and then i also got this jar uh carlton glass now i ebayed this and i paid nine dollars and there was no booth discount um but you know they go for about that and add shipping and then you're in it like 20 some dollars but i really got this for me these i find the plastic ones all the time with the plastic lids but i I, this was my first like find glass. So cool. Loved it. Don't want to break it. And then one more thing from that booth. This candy box. It was $4. Again, I have a couple of these, but mine are for the, uh, like the yellow. They have yellow with the Easter bunny on it. And one's filled with seashells. And then I got from like an estate place. And then <clears throat> the other one I got uh, is filled with birds. So um, it doesn't matter. I can take the stuff out and use it, of course. But this chocolate box, I paid $4. And I love the like the, the mid-century blush pink colors. And then you got your bunny rabbit. And for the most part, it's in really good shape. All right. So I did grab some of their little... Uh, booklets whatever there let me show you the pamphlet real quick i got a couple more things to show you rocky ridge collectibles oh well i did not go to that one i went to this one hancock antique mall and flea market well you know what's crazy i was just in hagerstown so we went to hagerstown afterwards for lunch hmm. well i'll be back I'll be back one way or the other. I found an Indiana glass hen on a nest in the box. Amber, not the most favorite desirable ones, but I'll be able to probably double my money on this. I did pay $10. Uh, probably, you know, I mean, I'll probably like sell it for $25. I don't know, $25, 28 I'll look at the solds again, but um, and get it listed. But I checked it out before I did um, buy it to make sure it was in good shape. Because a lot of times there's like little chips right here. And I have a couple of identification books for Hen on the Nest. And then a lot of times the little beadwork on the side or somewhere where they like smashed the lid down is broken. And then, you know, it's very easily glued back together, but then it's very noticeable. And I have a few of, them. well, not a few. I have a couple that I got for a couple bucks at the auction um, that are like that, that are chipped there. So, you know, when it comes in a box lot, you just roll with it. And then... I have one more thing to show you. Yeah, one more. Uh, it's for me. <laughs> more than likely. I like glittery things. I have a lot of glittery decorations I've picked up in the in my decorating decades. Uh, since my 20s. So, it, glitter's always a mess. I find it forever. But it's a, I'm sure it's probably like a hobbyist ceramic. 
and then they glittered it and they added a piece of felt and if you see in the video i do pick up that lamb that's in the same booth and it has no bottom um and it is a hobbyist piece so i'm guessing probably from the same family but it's cute and it's glittery and it's not chipped and the nose is pink i think that's what sold me on it reminds me of my kitty cat tinks uh that's it so yeah that was a good place to go um so if you're in the Hancock, Maryland area, I got glitter everywhere. Make sure you do a stop in and check it out and I'll talk to you again soon.